Spall and fragmentation can lead to serious injuries while wearing and utilizing your body armor should it take impacts. Today we're going to go over a few ways you can help mitigate that situation. <laughs> First, let's define spalling, aka fragmentation, which are essentially two names for the same thing, which is the secondary injuries that result from bullet fragments that radiate away from the point of impact after making contact with an armor plate. If you've spent any time shooting steel targets, you've probably noticed the abundance of lead that sprays in different directions from the point of bullet impact. When a bullet collides with AR-500 or AR-550 steel, it essentially liquefies most of the bullet, while some pieces, such as the core, tend to break into fragments. Since the bullet doesn't have enough velocity to penetrate the steel plate, the fragments are then dispersed in different directions along the surface of the plate at very high speeds. The pieces that move beyond the plate could hit the person wearing the body armor in the neck, head, or lower body. This is why it's a bad idea to wear uncoated steel core body armor. With an uncoated plate, the only fragmentation protection provided is by the plate carrier itself, which is typically made of a high strength nylon fabric. While the carrier will stop some fragmentation, it's not something you'd want to bet your life on. Now there are many myths and a good deal of armchair speculation, especially on the internet, concerning spalling and fragmentation. Today we're gonna to shed some light on the realities and dispel some of those myths when it comes to steel core body armor. If you've spent any time researching body armor, you've probably come across forums or videos where someone tries to scare people away from buying steel body armor. This is usually based on flawed testing methods, anecdotal situations, or something they heard from a friend of a friend. They'll say that you should only buy ceramic body armor, everything else is junk. Quite frequently, we've even seen forum or social media posts where there are links conveniently leading to a manufacturer of ceramic body armor listed at the end of these rants. Now at Spartan Armor Systems, we sell many types of body armor, including steel core, ceramic, and UHMWPE. Financially, we stand more to gain if everyone were to buy expensive ceramic plates, but we still frequently recommend steel core plates. The most common reason our customers choose our UHM WPE or ceramic body armor is because these plates weigh in at about two to four pounds less per plate. Lugging around four to eight pounds less in body armor has a noticeable impact on agility and stamina, especially when wearing our kit for extended periods of time. Another consideration is that our level four ceramic body armor, namely our Hercules and Ares models, provide superior ballistic protection against armor piercing rounds, such as 30-06 M2 AP. Both weight and level of protection are factors that should be carefully considered when choosing between steel and ceramic body armor. Because we understand that each type of armor material has pros and cons and everyone's needs and concerns vary widely. Much like the never-ending online argument of capacity versus stopping power when it comes to handguns, the argument of steel core versus ceramic body armor can lead to a lot of opinions, with few of them being based in the way of facts. At Spartan Armor Systems, we see it as our job to help you buy the body armor that's right for you and the scenarios that you may encounter. Just as with steel targets, you should expect to see some fragmentation with uncoated steel plates as they are made from the same AR-500 steel. However, in some videos you'll see that the tester shoots a coated plate and behold, there's still fragmentation resulting. Now this is misleading and it's where there's a bit of smoke and mirrors involved or at least some lack of fragmentation education. Body armor companies typically offer two types of coating when it comes to their steel core armor. The first is a base layer which protects the armor against corrosion from the elements. The second is a thicker coating that is meant and designed for fragmentation mitigation. The thicker coat, or full coat as we call it, significantly helps to prevent spall from escaping outside the plate itself. In many of these so-called testing videos, the body armor being shot is a base coat plate not designed to mitigate fragmentation. Either through ignorance or deception, the video will make it appear that the body armor is to blame. The truth is, the selection of the armor was wrong before the very first test shot was even fired, not to mention the overall unscientific method of testing. Leaning a steel plate up against a rock and shooting it 10 to 15 times from 15 feet away does not at all simulate reality. In real life, body armor is worn in a plate carrier and is supported against a movable gelatinous mass or your body. 
As a related side note, Spartan Armor Systems does scientifically test all of our body armor models, using an independent NIJ certified laboratory to ensure quality, whereas some other companies do their testing at a shooting range or other uncontrolled environment. All right, so now that you understand a bit about fragmentation and spalling and some of the misnomers out there, let's take a look at steel core armor. You may be asking yourself, is fragmentation possible with full coat plates? And the answer is yes, but it's highly unlikely. At Spartan Armor Systems, we've developed a special coating for our plates called Encapsulock. Now this coating is specifically designed to encapsulate fragmentation, and you'll notice that it doesn't feel like the generic truck bed liner that many other companies actually use on their plates. Through extensive testing, we found that truck bed liner doesn't have enough elasticity to do an adequate job of holding the spalling within the plate. However, there does come a point where the spalling may cause any coating to detach or delaminate from the plate. This is usually in the case of the plate being shot 20 plus times, and let's be real here, this is not a likely scenario to say the least. However, you'll see some videos on the internet using it as another scare tactic to dissuade you from considering steel core armor as a viable armor solution. Again, in real life, the body armor is tightly contained inside a plate carrier, which means that the coating will continue to do its job, even if it lifts up slightly from the plate. Some internet trolls will point to this and say, look, I told you so, but this completely ignores the fact that a steel body armor plate can defeat 20 plus shots from a rifle, whereas the ceramic body armor that they are so often promoting and advertising could handle significantly fewer shots before beginning to crack apart and fail. Not to mention the high incidence of blunt force trauma that inherently results from taking impacts when wearing ceramic body armor. The bottom line is steel armor is an affordable and safe body armor solution with the right precautions, and we'll talk further about those factors now. At Spartan Armor Systems, we always recommend that our customers purchasing our steel core body armor go ahead and pay the extra 63 bucks for the full coating of Encapsulock. It's added peace of mind and it's valuable extra protection when it comes to your steel core armor. If you want to take that a step further, you can also purchase a spall containment sleeve for your steel core armor plates for added protection. Spartan Armor Systems spall containment sleeves feature multiple layers of front-facing laminated ballistic aramid fibers designed to mitigate the possibility of spall from traveling outside the sleeve. This is the same ballistic material found in soft armor such as our flex-fused core level 3A body armor. The outer shell of the spall containment sleeve is constructed of 1000D Cordura, which is a very high strength nylon material that protects against wear and tear, but does add a small amount of added spall containment. And as an important consideration, you want to ensure that you buy a quality plate carrier made of a highly durable material that will further help capture spalling, such as 500D or 1000D Cordura, which we use in many of our carriers, such as the Achilles and Leonidas. To shoot completely straight, we're not talking about much money to aid in preventing the possibility of a secondary injury, and the fact is, steel core body armor is a fraction of the price of ceramic body armor, and it can take significantly more punishment. Not to mention, the shelf life of steel core body armor is 20 plus years, whereas ceramic is typically five years when maintained in ideal conditions. In a perfect world, everyone would have the money to buy a magical body armor plate that would protect against every scenario under the sun. Frankly, however, if this was a perfect world, you wouldn't need to buy body armor in the first place, right? We know there's a lot to consider when you're selecting and choosing the right body armor for you and your situation, and we're here to help. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'll also do our best to dispel any of the half-truths that are out there on the internet and give you the honest truth when it comes to selecting the optimal body armor for your situation. Please check out the full line of Spartan Armor at SpartanArmorSystems.com. Thank <laughs> you.